The science is clear. The positive outcomes and results from having access to quality early education are evident. Yet New Mexico continues to not invest in a way that can truly build a comprehensive, accessible quality system. It's not just daycare. It's not just home visitation. It's not just preschool. It's a continuum. When your family finds out that you're pregnant, it means having access to quality prenatal care services. Once that child is born, do they continue to have home visitation services? Why? Because these are the points where you can have early interventions. Once the parents decide that they need to go back to work, then you need daycare for that child. At some point, you need actual preschool for that child. And these are all things that happen before the child is even born, all the way through the age of five. So that's what a continuum looks like. In a place like New Mexico, our children are the best investment we can make with very low income levels uh, and very you know, little corporate business activity. We don't really have the taxing capacity to fund early education to the tune that it needs to be funded at, which is about $350 million. However, New Mexico is not poor. New Mexico has one of the largest permanent funds in the country, which is essentially a savings account that is at about $16 billion. We have been asking for six years for 1% of that to go into building this system. Why is this important? Because we can do this without raising a penny in taxes. And the downstream benefits of doing this are huge. You're talking about the innovators, the entrepreneurs, the scientists of tomorrow. If we invest now, we will see that 